This is our third part of series properties of fluids. So here we will discuss some more problems. In the first question, we have to find the specific weight, density and specific gravity of one liter of liquid, which weighs seven Newton. So let's start. First, we will write what has been given in question. So it is given that volume is one liter. So we will convert this volume to meter cube and next thing which is given in question is weight so weight is 7 newton now let's look at the first part of the question it is saying we have to calculate the specific weight so the specific weight is defined as ratio of weight to volume we have the value of weight and we also have the value of volume so we will put the value of weight and volume so this is how we are putting the value and after solving this equation we will get 7000 Newton per meter cube. So this is our answer for the first part. Now let's move on to the second part that is the, the density, right? We need to find the density. Density is defined as ratio of mass to volume. So there is a relation between density, specific weight and acceleration due to gravity. So I will show you what is the relation here. So we write density as ratio of mass to volume. So I'm multiplying acceleration due to gravity on top and bottom. So when we rewrite this equation, we get uh, expression as weight divided by volume multiplied by acceleration due to gravity and weight by volume is our specific weight. So an expression comes that is density is equal to weight that is specific weight, not weight. You have to remember this specific weight divided by acceleration due to gravity so we will use this equation to solve the second part of the question so now we have the value of specific weight as 7000 newton per meter cube and we know the value of acceleration due to gravity that is 9.81 meter square per second so after solving this expression we will get our final answer that is 713.5 kg per meter cube now let's move to the third part of the question and third part talks about specific gravity. We need to find specific gravity. So when we define specific gravity, we say it is the ratio of density of liquid to the density of water. So the water here is the standard fluid, right? So we will put the value of density of liquid, which we found in second part that was 713.5 kg per meter cube and density of water that is 1000 kg per meter cube after solving this equation we get 0.7135 as specific gravity of water the second question is in front of you so it is a question of an inclined plane so before reading the question first visualize what is given in the question right so we have an inclined plane which is inclined at 30 degrees. So you have been given question that it is inclined at 30 degrees, right? And it is also given that uh, there is a square plate that is on top of this inclined plane and between the square plate and inclined plane, there is some oil. So this is our oil, right? Now it is also given that the weight of the plate is 300 Newton. So this is our weight of plate that is 300 newtons, right? And it slides down the inclined plane with a uniform velocity of 0.3 meter per second. So speed is also given. And the value of thickness of film that is T, this, this thickness of film, right, is given as 1.5 mm. and with speed with the block is coming down is given as 0 0.3 meter per second right so this is what has been given in the question and we need to find the dynamic viscosity of oil so let's see what is given in the question first thing is given is area right area square plate area so it is 0.64 meter square second thing is theta that is angle of inclination which is 30 degrees and weight of plate is given as 300 newton and velocity is given as 0.3 meter per second so we have these values which is given in the question
one more thing is given in question and that is thickness that is dy and it is 1.5 mm 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter I have converted to meters now we need to resolve the force in uh, along the plane because uh, this viscosity is acting along the plane right so when we resolve the force along the plane then we get a w sin theta so this is our angle of inclination and this is the force which we require here right so we will put the value of w sin theta so we write it as force along the plane will be w sin theta so we will put the value of w so we have put the value of w sin theta and it comes out to be 150 newton that is this force is acting along the plane now we know the value of shear force which we found out as 150 newton right now we will use the general formula of shear stress that is uh, force divided by area shear force divided by area and we will put the value here so this is our value of shear stress now we know that in question we have been given value of du that is a change in velocity so since initial velocity is zero so we uh, it is at rest after uh, at rest is moving down and final velocity is u so we will get change in velocity as u which is given as 0.3 meter per second in the question and also dy is given as 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meters so this is our dy that is the thickness of the film so we have the value of shear stress and we have the value of du and dy right so now we will put all this in one equation and we will get so here i have used the general formula So I put the values. So after solving this, we can get the value of dynamic viscosity as 1.17 Newton second per meter square. And if we convert it to poise, then we will get 11.7 poise. So this is our required answer. Third question is based on capillarity and we have been given that glass tube is not to exceed 0.2 mm of water so this is our height that is given in the question so uh, we will write h as 0.2 mm uh, which is which can be written as 0.2 into 10 to power minus 3 meters right so now let's see what next thing is given next thing is our surface tension for water which is given as 0.0725 newton per meter and we are assuming that dia of tube is d right which we have to find out so that capillary rise is not exceeding 0.2 millimeter of water so the angle for water is water theta that is between water and glass is generally taken as 0 degree right and density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube so we will use the expression for capillary rise which is given as h is equal to 4 multiplied by surface tension divided by density into acceleration due to gravity into dia so we will put all the values in this equation and we will get the value of diameter by solving this equation and which comes out to be 0.148 meters that is 14.8 centimeters 